How many backpacks is too many backpacks? There is no answer because you need a backpack for every single thing that you do. If we haven't met before, my name is Amy and I love my e-bags motherload junior weekender convertible backpack. Check it out. This backpack has been a huge, huge, huge help to all my travels. I took it on a short vacation to Arizona. When I went to Phoenix, I took it for just a couple of days and I fit all my stuff in there. When I went to Thailand, I used it as my carry-on backpack and that was perfect for a longer trip. It was a 16 hour flight, which was a little gnarly, but it fit everything I needed. Everything that you could ever want really fits inside this backpack. The only problem with this backpack is that it looked like a backpacker. It's not as professional looking and I really wanted to have something that I could bring back and forth to my office and on business trips and this was just not what I needed. Much as I love my mother load, it was time for a new bag. So I started looking at what else eBags has to offer. Was there another backpack that could suit my needs? Something more professional, something a little classier, shall we say? And sure enough, there was. <laughs> this is the eBags Professional Slim Laptop Backpack. As you can see, this is a beautiful heathered graphite color. And I absolutely love this bag because it's so much smaller and so much more professional looking than my Weekender. And it still holds a good amount of stuff. It has a really cool handle that goes up and down. It makes it a little bit easier to carry and sort of throw around a bit. Great straps with the mesh padded back. The back's really similar to the Weekender backpack. One cool thing about this though is that it has the little slidey part. So if you're sliding it over the handle of a wheeled suitcase, it's really perfect for that because you just put it on there and then it won't fall over. We've all had that happen at the airport. It is both embarrassing and annoying. <laughs> so don't, don't have that happen to you. Get this backpack. As you can see from the side profile, it's pretty slim. Just to give you a comparison, this is the Weekender versus the slim backpack. And this one's obviously a lot smaller. All this has in it right now is a fleece jacket. So it's pretty big on its own without even being stuffed. So just something to keep in mind. One thing I really like about this bag that I didn't expect to is the bottom pocket here is actually reinforced. It's hard, so there's no way that anything in here can squish it. In here, I put some fragile things, uh, my sunglasses, my phone, and my laptop charger. This big pocket right here is very similar to the Weekender bag. Oh. <laughs> so in here, I had my headphones, uh, power bank, some pens and notebooks and things like that. So these are really good for smaller things. I like that it opens all the way. It's a little easier to get in here. And as you can see, there's lots of little zippered pouches for those of you that like to be really, really organized, especially on a business trip. You wanna make sure that you look good and you don't have pens falling out your back and things like that. So my least favorite part about this backpack, the water bottle pocket. I realize that it looks much cooler to not have an actual water bottle pocket and just to have one that zips up instead, but these things really suck. I had the same problem with the Weekender. You put a water bottle in it and it just flaps around. This pulls out here and you stick a bottle in it. It's not as easy. It actually, it doesn't even look easy. It's just not easy to use. So you stick your tiny little water bottle in here and hope for the best. <laughs> So that brings us to the main compartments of the bag. There's two big compartments and they're both pretty much exactly the same. Check out this part. It's an L open, which is super annoying. Why can't you just open the whole way? Why, why? I open it here. There's a little pocket in here. You could put a laptop, a folder, a notebook, anything, anything that's pretty flat, maybe a couple of books stacked on top of each other. So this is our second L pocket. Here I have my 15 inch MacBook Pro and if it's pretty well in here, it's a little snug. This is supposed to fit up to a 17 inch laptop. So I wouldn't recommend getting a 17 inch laptop just because I think it would be a really tight fit. I had a little trouble getting this in here, to be honest, especially with one hand. I really had to use two hands. Comes out pretty nice, but getting it in is a little harder. <laughs> It is in there pretty snugly, so I guess I can't be that mad that it's hard to get in because I don't feel like the laptop's gonna fall out at all. You can slide a couple notebooks here and keep all your writing utensils on the outside. If you're looking for a backpack that looks professional, something you can carry into an office, not like kiddish at all, you don't wanna be rocking a Jansport when you're going into a professional setting. 
this is a great option. If you're planning on buying this bag, please use the link in the description below. It helps us out. And if you like the video, like and subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time.